All right. Life coaches say healthy self-esteem is essential for success in our work and family lives. That message is being reinforced today, which is Self Day, an event started by Auckland-based attitude specialist Janice Davies, who's with us this morning. Morning, Janice. How do you become an attitude specialist? Um, I didn't notice it at university, that uh, course. <laughs> no, no, no. It's just a course that I've decided that I needed myself so that I could be positive and overcome every hurdle that came through in my life. So. And you developed Self Day. Tell us about that. It's been around five years now? Yes, yes. Um, it started the International Self-Esteem Day. And we've just renamed it Self Day because we feel that that's a bit more global. Um, and it's about it's awareness program about just the importance of self esteem, and you have to work on it daily, minute by minute. If you're having a challenge every day, and, how, how, yeah. how do you define self esteem? Um, just an inner belief in, in yourself that who you are and what you are creating in your life for yourself is who you want to be. I, of course, looked up the Oxford English Dictionary okay. and al alongside the photo of Paul Henry, <laughs> okay. it had confidence in one's own worth and abilities. Absolutely fantastic. We need to develop this as adults, but we also it's important to develop it among children, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes. Yeah. How do you go about developing it? How do you boost self-esteem? Well, for children, because it's in the first three years of their life that a lot of things are formed in their, in their thinking, um, it's, it's giving them confidence, for, um, for what they do, it's praising them, it's as simple as putting their piece of artwork up on the, up on the fridge, it's listening to them, it's deciding how many times you say no and what's actually worthwhile worrying about, what's not worth, worthwhile worrying about. It's constant every day, making them feel worthy. In the absence of that, what happens? Um, negative thinking, negative self, low self-esteem, and out in the uh, school they will underperform, they won't um, achieve what they can do, peer group pressure will affect Won't them. reach their potential, Absolutely. essentially. So yeah, in order sure. to assist them to reach their potential, you need to keep boosting their self-esteem. Yes, yeah. Can it be dangerous though? Can you go too far and, and develop a, a nation of childhood egotists? Yes, you can. So, I mean, there has to be... Um, Where's the balance? Okay, you know, if, if children have done something that's not okay, they need to learn that that's not okay. Um, if they've dropped the glass on purpose, that's not okay. But if they've dropped it as an accident when they were drying dishes, you know, it's getting them to learn that that's all right if it was an accident, but if they just threw it on the floor, it's not okay. And what about adults? When it, when it comes to adults with low self-esteem, how does that manifest itself? Well, at home they um, aren't in good relationships, it's not in a healthy relationship. At work they're underperforming, um, they're too scared to volunteer to do something, to try something new. Um, it will come out in their body language and their work, the way that they have their relationships as well. Okay, quick tips for boosting someone's self-esteem? Boosting your own self-esteem. You're feeling down, you don't, you, you know, you're feeling a bit shy mm. and retiring. How do you boost your own self-esteem? Well, for a start, it's easy just to write down five things that you like, like about yourself. You know, it can be two that are physical, your nose, your toes, two things that you're good at, cooking and gardening, and, um, you know, and, and one attribute which might be that you're friendly or you're helpful. And, and then just keep adding to your list. You should be able to come to 100 over a week. Over a week, then, but mm. over time, though, you know, you, you've written that down. It's good today. Mm. Tomorrow, it's boring. Mm. In a week, it's boring. Two, a month later, you can't keep going back to the same list, can you? But you can keep adding to it. Every time, if you try and do something that's a little bit different, something new that goes outside the square box, well, then that's what you can add to your list. So it's continuously trying something new and growing your list. And as you do that, you grow your self esteem. You should be able to sustain it over a period of time. Absolutely, yeah. yeah it's something that people have to work on every day. Self Day, is it the 25th of June every year? It's the last Wednesday of June. The last mm -hmm. Wednesday of June. And um, so what's going to happen? Well, um, if people have got a website, they can go and download the free ebook. So there's 125 tips there, lots of ideas. The Body Shop round, uh, right around New Zealand, people can go in there. There's uh, 50 tips there that people can go in and read. Um, I'm in the Body Shop in Queen Street today at 12 o'clock. Uh, St Luke's at 2 o'clock. There's somebody in the Hamilton Body Shop. And um, it's just a matter of if you've got great self-esteem, that's fantastic, but also shoulder tap somebody else and give somebody else a compliment. Does it boost our productivity ultimately? Yes, it does. That's good enough for me. Mm. Self day. Mm. Congratulations. Good luck with it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jess. Mm. Thanks. I like